And what kind of dancers are you attracted to? It depends on the piece and the character. So for this, I mean, it's, you know, it's a very long life and it's a working girl that becomes this icon, very fa high fashion icon. And I was working with Feife, unfortunately she's injured, so we hope and we cross fingers that she'll be good again for the premiere. And, you know, at the first scene they were like, sewing. And I was like, I, I don't believe that you're working in a factory. So we're working on who is that character when she is 18, 19 years old. Then she becomes a showgirl and she has to be, you know, a prostitute. So what is that? So there were uh, uh, my two girls, which was Richie and Feifei, were already too elegant from the beginning. So I had to take that out of their mind and really clarify where they're at in their lifetime. So that at the end, you really believe, you really see the journey of this uh, icon, this businesswoman. Interesting. I, uh, Luis, come here, please. Uh, Luis Torres is our <laughs> ballet master. Some of you all met Luis. Um, <laughs> Luis, another, it's actually the three Latinos right here, <laughs> Latinx. Um, uh, Luis, I'll just ask one question, then I'm going to ask uh, if anyone has any questions. Um, Luis is ballet master and assisting Annabelle in, cre in creation, but in fact, Luis was a principal dancer with the Washington Ballet, uh, danced for me for many, many years, and uh, got to know Annabelle, uh, and, was, and she created a lot of work on Luis for Luis. Uh, some amazing solo work, some amazing partnering work and some group work. Uh, Luis, I want to ask you, not from a ballet master perspective, but from a, a dancer perspective, what can one expect uh, when working with Annabelle? What's, what is life like as a dancer when you're in an Annabelle ballet? Clarity, musicality, inspiration, hard work, uh, but very satisfying because when you finish the whole process, there's places where you're like, oh my God, I don't know what it is. Uh, you're looking like, I want to really give you what it is. It's like, oh, it's getting there, it's getting there. But when you get it, it's so satisfying because not only does she get what she's looking for, but the audience will get what she's trying to say, which is very, very satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, uh, and uh, and is, it, uh, is she hard to please? <laughs> Sometimes, yes, when it's very specific or it's a complicated emotional situation because she really works with energy. And sometimes dancers are all about how do I look? And sometimes she's not looking for how do you look, but how you make the people feel that are watching. So she's also a balance between what the audience is experiencing more than what do you think you look like. And um, those places sometimes it's hard to please because emotionally transforming what you look like. It's complicated, especially for young dancers. But once you get it, you're like, oh, that's yeah. what it is. I, actually, today we worked on actually two scenes very much in details. Um, we have six ladies and they are her assistant, Coco Chanel's assistant. And they have, you know, her first uh, shop was a hat shop. So we've got hats. And the way the ladies were holding the hat, I was like, this is Bob Fosse Broadway, but you need to be a mannequin. So you have to get into a position with your hand and they were too sexy and fancy. So we worked and, and they still don't have it, but one girl has it. And it's amazing when you see that she's actually a mannequin. Because I think then the audience will understand that we are in a shop and not that Chanel has six sexy ladies <laughs> next to her. Yeah. And then the other one is, of course, meeting the first time Boy Capel, the love of her life. So that's, uh, yeah. So those could be challenging, but very satisfying. Nice. <laughs> Thank you.